Most of you probably saw a video I posted a few days ago where I cast a match inside a resin. Well in this bonus video we're going to try that again, but this time without the void. And I'm also going to take one of the biggest suggestions from that video, casting sparklers. So making these blanks are going to be super easy. I'm going to take the container that we used from last week and I'm just going to glue a match straight in the bottom. Once I've done that, I'll fill it with resin and then we'll have our first blank. I'll also do the same for the sparklers. I've got the common grey ones here and I also bought some coloured ones. Now because we're unsure if these sparklers will light without the void, I'm also going to make an extra blank, the same way I did the match last week. I think the best way to do this sparkler is I'm going to cut the end off here, that way we can stick it in the container. I've gone ahead and got all my moulds ready. I've got the two void moulds, the sparkler mould, the match mould, and I also did a bonus one. I did a sparkler with the head of the sparkler outside of the resin. That way we can light it outside and see if it'll continue down the resin. So now that we have our castings, there's one more thing I have to do. I need to pop these voids out, drop the sparkler in and glue them together. So now that we have our four castings, it's time to light these up. But before I do, I want you guys to pause this video and let me know in the comments which ones do you think will work best. Maybe number them one to four, with one being the best. If I had my predictions, I think this one's going to be the best, so I think we'll leave it to last. Now there is one other thing I wanted to do, and that's try and get these out of the plastic containers. Now I'm not sure how well that's going to work, I may have to cut them off, but I really don't want the magnifying glass melting the plastic before we get to the sparkler. That's better.
Well, as you can see there, we got ourselves a nice little burn mark, but unfortunately we couldn't get the sparkler to ignite. Next up, let's try the match. Bear with me guys, we're trying to light it. We just got all this cloud cover. Since we're having no luck with the sun, I'm gonna move on to the second sparkler. Cause for that, we just need a flame. go. What do you think is going to happen? Is it going to continue on or is it going to stop? I've got to admit, I'm a little disappointed with this one. I really thought it was going to work a bit better than that. All we managed to do was light the resin on fire in the top here, and the sparkler did burn a little bit, but it didn't go very far. I really thought it was going to go all the way to the bottom. Okay, let's try this match again. Now that was actually pretty cool. We sort of did get it to light. You can see we've got a nice burn mark down the stick there. We've got a couple of hot spots. Now we did have a lot of trouble obviously with the sun, but I think that turned out pretty good. And now for the grand finale. While the sun's out, let's see if we can make it happen. Surely it's got to go. Well, we managed to get some good burn marks, but unfortunately no ignition. The magnifying glass did a good job, but I think we need something a bit stronger. Here we go, I think it's happening. I think we're finally gonna get a result. It was a pretty cool light show, but it's a shame we couldn't light it up like the match in the last episode. It would have been sweet to do it without putting a hole in it. Well that's it for this week's episode, but before I go, a lot of you guys have been asking about the smoke that was in the match from last week. Unfortunately it has all disappeared, but it did last for a few hours. Also if you guys liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, it really helps me out a lot. And if there's something you want to see cast in resin, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.